Thankfully, as we know, bad ends are not the end of this game. In fact, they're encouraged and almost necessary. Now then. Is there anything I'm missing? No. Moving on. Welcome to cleanup time, where I have to actually just, uh... Taiga's not necessary, as much as I'd like to do... Nah, I should have done it. Ah, yeah, well, it's too late now. And we've seen the Taiga one. I need to do the one with exclamation marks. Those are flags, and they're 100% necessary to continue. Just Taiga, Taiga talking about buying a bunch of fruit and storing it in Saber or in uh, Shiro's room. How unusual. Caster is standing still, lost in a reverie? Perfect timing. I'm looking for a fuck. There's no one else around, so I should try asking about the restarted Holy Grail War. She's settled down now, but the precedent, precedent of her setting up a magic barrier in the middle of the town still exists. I don't think it's possible, but I should at least make sure she hasn't been plotting anything lately. Caster, can I talk to you for a moment? She lifts her heavy hood back and glances coldly at me. What is it? Since, since it's you who's talking to me, I doubt it's anything good. I feel like she's on guard. When we met in the ta in town, she's relatively friendly, but now it's almost as if she's reverted back to how she was half a year ago. By the way, can I just point out, it took me, uh... It took me unlimited codes to notice that she has one sleeve on one part of her outfit. Like, her right arm has a complete sleeve covering her arm. The left arm does not have that. And I did not notice that until I played her in a... Until I played her arcade mode in Unlimited Codes. Whether it's good or bad is up to you. I'm going to be blunt. Are you doing anything behind the scenes lately? You know, going back to old habits after all the st stress of having to deal with an abstemious temple lifestyle. A abs abstemious? Abs what the fuck is that word? The atmosphere is quite serious, so I try to ask it peacefully in a way that doesn't provoke her. You ask some inter interesting questions, boy. Talking to me at a place like this, really? Do you want to be killed and buried where no one will ever find you, I wonder? Especially when eating and drinking. Ah! My mystique. My mystique? My mystique. <laughs> my mistake. May I ask whether you have noticed anything odd in town recently? <laughs> I'm sorry, my spine froze. The unnatural smile that I, that I ha assumed had disappeared over the past six months is still there. I should have expected no less from the top tactician of all the servants. I'm terribly sorry. You should have just said that from the beginning. I'm not at all stressed right now, incidentally. That statement is like a drunkard declaring his sobriety. Is the Ryudo Temple really okay, I wonder? I see. Well, occasionally exercise is good for you. You know, marathons, going up and down the temple stairs, training in the Iceburn Forest. I'm pretty sure there's one or two spots in the forest that Caster could use as training grounds, and Berserker's probably liable to come and help as a hypothetical enemy. Yeah, hypothetical. Ah, that's a... That's what I know, uh, Berserker to fill in for as a hypothetical enemy. Uh, 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 Holotrexia, I feel like you're getting a little loose with what it means to be... What it means to be an insane madman. Um, look, I know things have, uh, quieted down a bit, but it's still Berserker. He ain't exactly... <laughs> he ain't exactly the chillest bra known to man. He has two emotions. It's brr and brr. Thank you for your consideration, but I have no need to go into the forest. I can do some light exercise here, too. 
The one running around will probably be you, not me, though. This is bad. It seems Caster and I just don't get along. It might have something to do with the fact you keep insulting her. At this rate, it may become a repeat of the events half a year ago, so I have to make this quick. Then let's talk about stress relief again some other time. So, about the town. I haven't seen anything. I know there is something odd about the town, but the purpose or origin behind it is unknown to me. Either way, it doesn't interest me. I see. Well, I didn't think you'd figure it out right away, but... If I ask Caster for help, there's a chance I could investigate what's going on. The Holy Grail War restarted. All the servants still in this world. And also, this feeling of deja vu that I can't quite grasp. Well, leaving that aside... I take it you're not part of this, right? Correct. Whether you believe me or not is up to you, though. I believe you, Caster. You may be scheming something, but I don't think you would lie. I'm sorry, what? Actually, servants generally don't lie. Since when? Nasu. Bro, this is the second ever fate work. Uh, I can't. My brain, it hurts. I can't. Such a lust for confusion! NASU! I guess that's being noble or fair in a way. Alright, so you have no interest in the current situation. That means you don't intend to fight the other servants, right? Of course. Wasting magical energy when there's nothing to gain from it is behavior unbefitting a magus. Surely even you... No, I suppose you don't have that kind of sense, do you, boy? She chuckles. I'm being made fun of, but I don't feel bad about it at all. You, bet. <laughs> you shouldn't after all the shit you said to her. After all, there were only cheerful sounds in Caster's voice. Yeah, that's, uh... God, can you imagine if everyone actually played Hollow Atraxian and how much they'd hate Shiro after this? God, they fucking say he's annoying in Fate Stay Night. Boy! Holy shit! Um. God, if I didn't know some things I already know about later, I would say Shiro may be one of the dumbest fucking people on the face of the fucking earth. But even so, it seems Castor has no interest in investigating the situation. It almost looks as if she likes it. Alright, I get it. So this means you're not going to do anything, right? Yes. Sorry, boy. I won't intervene at all. Shiro? Is that like female Shiro? Is this like the Otome? Is this the Otome version of uh, fate, uh, fate? All the servants are male and uh, <laughs> just gender swap everyone. That's what Luvia calls him. Oh. If you want to search for the one who restarted the Holy Grail War, go look on your own. Well, that's how it'll be. Oh my, you sure took what that well. I thought you would bow down and beg me to help. Even I won't ask for the impossible. Caster, you just don't feel like it, do you? If that's the case, I'll do it myself. And if I really can't, I'll be back and we'll see who holds out longer. Chiro? That sounds stupid. I'm never using that word. 
Judging by how she resisted, all I'd have to do is beg her for help until she complies. Huh? Perhaps she just wasn't expecting it, or maybe she had been having fun planning on ways to turn me down. Castor has a disappointed look on her face. Are you alright? Did you get a death by enfeeblement curse cast on you without realizing it or something? This isn't like you. What happened to that tenacity of yours? I should have expected it from this unusual witch. The level of concern here is one grade higher than Tosika. Actually, if she ever does decide she wants to rob me of motivation, motivation, I hope she just settles it with a suggestion spell that makes me apathetic or something. I couldn't stand withering away and dying just to make me less enthusiastic. Well, leaving that aside, I haven't had a curse cast on me. There's no one, but you could do that any. There's no one, but you could do that anyway. More importantly, I'm just an eyesore to you, aren't I? I wasn't being sarcastic, I just said what I was thinking. And that is how you get in trouble 9 times out of 10. Once again, Caster looks taken aback. This time she looks even more defenseless. <sighs> Honestly, ow, fuck! And with that, you have met the greatest, the greatest foe of all visual novel reading known to man. I bit my tongue. God, it sucks, because then that part starts swelling up a little bit, and it's like, great, now that section of my tongue is both sensitive, sore, and fucking hanging over my teeth even more. Great. Honestly, I wonder what you're going to say, and you just state... I wonder what you're going to say, and you just state the obvious. Yes, to be honest, you are an eyesore. After all, you are the victor, and we are the defeated. Even when all is calm, it's hard to forget the humiliation of defeat. Moreover, I can't relax when you're around. The winner of the Holy Grail War, that immature sense of justice you possess, both of those are things I don't want to see when I'm in a bad mood. Caster's hostility is genuine. She honestly thinks I'm a bother. But wait. It almost sounds as if she views me as an enemy, not of herself, but of something else entirely. Since I uncharacteristically picked up on this, I respond to her hostile remarks with an understanding nod. For now, I'll take things in stride. <laughs> take care, boy. Sometimes when I see you on your own, I think about crushing you once and for all. However, as long as Saber is around, it's impossible. Liar. You aren't the type to be lenient just because you're afraid of Saber taking revenge. The reason you won't act out is because there's something more important. That may be, for example, the tranquil life at Ryudo Temple. Say what you will. Just remember, if you become even a little less pure of a human being, that's when I will give you your just desserts without mercy. If you ever start hating yourself enough that you want to die, then give in to your greed and depravity. I'll do you a favor and kill you with enchantments. The witch grins. As I thought, when we're alone together, we're not compatible. Even though I'm not interested, I've already been given what sounded like a declaration of war. Maybe I should get going. Oh, could you tell me one more thing? The town right now, there's no damage being done to it, right? So is it possible for it to get worse? No, there's no damage. And no, it won't get worse. I can guarantee that. Guarantee it. That's right. This is all but a short dream. Nothing will happen, and we'll all go back to normal. That's good, then. Let's continue the investigation. Just knowing that Castor isn't doing anything and that she doesn't plan to get involved is good enough. Bye, then. I'll try to catch you in a better mood next time. Please do. I want to avoid having both Saber and Ryder as my enemies. Also, I have a piece of advice for you. Be a good boy and don't go near the church at night, okay? The opponent there is not something you can handle. 
She raises her hood back up and leaves. Could it be that the reason she was showing me her face was some kind of courtesy? It's after nine, there's no major events. Too early to go to bed, what do I do? Okay. Actually, hang on a second, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Anyways, uh, call it a day. Nothing we can accomplish for now. Uh, I don't really care next day. It's actually not what I meant to click, but it'll do. <laughs> okay, we've hit both of those, so night time is here. All right, I think we may be able to do this now. Just after nine, there are no major rooms. Too early, what should I do? Oh, that's right, there, there's a fourth day, right? I was like, I was like, okay, this should be the, uh, this should be the time to go. And then it wasn't, and things got weird. All right, afternoon. Nothing, cool, nighttime, all right. There are no major events, what should I do? Shit, I fucked up. <laughs> you have already gotten this ending. You fucked up, you dumb bastard. Yeah, I noticed. Oh, right. I need to actually go walk around outside. I'll go check the situation in town. Saber may have said otherwise, but if uh, you're not alone, there will probably be things that you'll miss. I forgot, I have to actually investigate things at night. I do my best to sneak outside. The Emiya residence's surroundings are peaceful and quiet. Nothing is out of the ordinary. I see. This really is the same as half a year ago. Why did I go outside alone? Why am I not bringing Saber along? It all makes sense once I look at it from a stranger's perspective. No matter how harmless it may seem, if I were to exercise proper judgment, I would not be walking out alone. Even though there are no enemies, the reality is that there is something odd happening to this town. So the reason I'm out here on my own, nonetheless, must be that I plan to use myself as live bait to draw out anything abnormal. It's pretty tough not knowing what I intend to do until I've done it, but if, uh, if I do say so myself. I just decided on a whim, though. Well, whatever happens. Gazing at the night sky, I start walking. If I feel danger, I'll just go back to the house right away. Then I'll quietly return to my room and wait until tomorrow. I look up at the moon. The sky is cleared and the white moonlight is cutting through the darkness. Uh, Shiro, I don't think you can see colors properly. Well then, hopefully I'll find some clear evidence of abnormality that even someone as thick-headed as me can recognize. Let's check out the South Residence. <laughs> it's an actual shadow moon. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong here. No signs of life in this district is uh, business as usual. No screams nearby, no howling beasts either. Perhaps due to the white moonlight, the town looks brighter than usual. Everything's fine here. On to the next one, I guess. I leave the Western-style residential district. On the way back, I notice something red out of the corner of my eye. There are one or two brand new post boxes. I guess it's about time to go back. It's not like I only have tonight. There's time tomorrow, too. I return to the Emir residence. It seems the end of the night has been postponed for a little longer. At least I'm fairly sure that those are the, uh... Only flags I have. Yeah. There's gotta be something at night that I'm not doing. There's gotta be a flag around there somewhere I haven't hit yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Return to my room. What should I do? Go out for a walk. Let's go alone. I actually forget how I get the, uh... Access to the other place. Uh... Let's take a look at the North Residential. I can do this at least three times. Didn't seem to be anything wrong here, even though there isn't a single person. Whoops. I didn't mean to skip by that. 
uh, person out on the streets. I can hear the sound of family conversations inside. The streets are calm and quiet, perfect for a late night stroll under the moonlight. Everything's fine here. On to the next one, I guess. I leave the Japanese style residential district. On the way back, I catch a person's silhouette out of the corner of my eye. What leaves a bit of an impression on me is that it looks as thin as origami. There is totally nothing wrong with this town. Nothing strange, noisy, or crazy, or bizarre about this town. I think this is my last time to go check at night. Hopefully, I've gotten enough that... Damn. I think I have to check all of them. God, that means we're doing this multiple rotations. Jesus Christ. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong here. It's dimmer than uh, Shinto in the distance, but if you listen carefully, you can hear sounds of activity. The sound of a passing car's engine. The ragged breath of a running silhouette. The light from a house with laughter spilling. The heavy breathing of the running silhouette with its tongue hanging out. <sighs> well then, I guess it's about time to go back and catch some sleep. Okutoba. Eleventh. What should I do? I don't know. Call it a day. Fuck it. And so the last night ends. The abnormal will return to normal. The curtains will close on this battle. And what should not have been possible will return to the void from which it came from. The clock will strike midnight in about 30 seconds. Once the date changes, the fourth day will die out entirely. The moment the new day begins, all the time that has passed will be completely lost. This is the end. When I open my eyes, I'll be back to my normal everyday life. The Holy Grail War is over. The battle yields no victors. The abnormality remains unexplained. And the hollow paradise keeps on turning. Ekasit. So technically isn't a bad end, it just means I didn't, you know, I didn't do enough. Hi, welcome to the Wonders playing fucking Hollow Atraxia. <laughs> Go for a walk. There, I guess I have to check out the temple now. All right, the temple gate stands in silence. The stone steps seem to go on forever into the night sky. Somehow I can picture them leading to the heavens. But fortunately, the moon is not overhead, so the stairs connect properly right up to Ryudo Temple and not to another world. No. Flags have exclamation marks. I peek inside through the gate. There's nothing unusual about the temple grounds. I'd like to go investigate more, but that would require stepping into the premises. So cool. You there. One more step and your head shall fall from your neck. And so stands the servant still guarding the gate. You must be bored out of your mind. There's no need for a guard anymore, yet you're still faithful to your duty. Or perhaps there are actually a lot of sta uh, statue thieves and the like around. I, Lee, I have seen no thieves, but there are others who pass by often. Right this moment, there's someone passing by, you know. Huh? Naturally, there is no one around. I only felt a chilling yet warm wind brush by my cheek. Stop. Ghosts are a strictly prohibited topic at the temple. I'm already alone and frightened. It's no fair if you intimidate me, too. Or maybe that's how it is. Servants are spirits, maybe they do see those things. Uh, do they really come out around here? Of course. It's just that you've never noticed. I was also just a commoner while alive, and I have questioned their existence just the same. Now that I am of the same kind, I see them come here all the time. I see. 
Well, as long as I can't even see one, I suppose no harm can come from them either. If ghosts really can harm people, it would be the ones we can actually see. Right. If there's no form, it probably can't kill you. Yeah, totally, of course. That's uh, exactly how that works. If you're, the, if you're that curious, then why don't you die once? The vixen here would be happy to provide you with a near-death experience, I'm sure. I'm good, thanks. I don't trust Caster that much. How should I put this? I feel like she would begin with good intentions, but then start getting evil ideas and, in the end, betray you. No doubt about it. When she dons her servant attire, you need to watch out. Caster used to be good-hearted, probably. But a lifetime in the shadows left her stained deeply with spite. Despite reforming, she still puts on her wicked grin from time to time. If I were to rank her on the list of servants to never let a, your to never let your guard down against, she would be the first or second. But what brings you here tonight? If it's just a mundane errand, leave it until daylight. I have no obligation to serve as a gatekeeper, but the command spell is still in effect. There are no exceptions for strangers at this hour. Uh, right. You are protecting it because of her command spell. From the beginning, the Holy Grail War meant nothing for this servant. Assassin is just a swordsman that intercepts enemies trying to pass through the gate. The irregularities in this town have nothing to do with him, and must not interest him very much either. I'm going back then. Sorry for bothering you. Just window shopping. It's fine, since you're on guard duty and all. I'll try to remember to bring a present or something next time. I turn my back to the temple gate. How considerate of you. Then I'd like to request a beautiful flower. No. Two of them. I'm not complaining, but a man's senses become dull from all this moonlight. <laughs> Bring saber and rider, eh? Is it boldness or just idle curiosity? If anybody could try to hit on two former enemy servants, it would be this guy. Well, I guess it's not that unlikely. On some lovely moonlight spring evening by some mistake, who knows? A night party like that might just happen. There are no clues in Miyama. Let us cross the bridge and continue investigating into Shinto. There we go. Now I have access to the second half of the nighttime area, which is where I need to go, because I need to get across to the bridge, I think. Because I think so far the bulk of it is asking the servants how they feel. And we've talked to almost every servant save for one. Not counting Gilgamesh. Yeah, there we go. So now I have an exclamation mark. It means there's a flag here. Yep, there it is. The flag is on the bridge. Crossing the bridge, I head over to Shinto. There's nobody on the pedestrian walkway at this hour. Tonight, with no cars on the roadway, the sound of the breeze from the sea echoes around me. This is becoming more and more like rehash of what happened six months ago. Back then, too, I... Went with Saber and Tosca to Shinto, didn't I? Not a single word exchanged between us, anxious at being led to some unknown place, but at the same time welcoming the new adventure. But how do I feel now? Everyone knows there's something strange going on. What's weird is that not knowing what's right or wrong. I have settled into the reopened Holy Grail War. Well, I don't mind having random people trying to pick a fight for no reason. There is no reason to fight. Therefore, there is no risk of dying. Mutual hatred and spite that causes ruin, however. And Shiro just lost most of his body! An instant. I probably could not comprehend what happened until the very end. I collapse on the railing. Streams of blood and life force are gushing out of me. Nothing can save me now. This is a lethal wound. Almost the same as instant death. 
Unconsciously, my dying eyes grab onto the image. No reason to fight, no fear of death, eh? His eyes scorn me for this foolishness. Son of a... Saying nothing, he knocked the fatal arrow. Unable to dodge or block, instant death already assured. The second arrow, the second arrow cut. Dead bad ends. Critical dead. The road to Shinto is blocked by a sniper. There's no choice but to defeat this enemy.